everybody. I am here to do another love spell for you guys. Um, I'm in the room. <laughs> so, um, this is a come back to me desperately in love, okay? Um, anybody can do this, man, man, woman, woman, boy, girl, girl, boy. Anybody can do my spells, okay? What you're going to need for this spell is, this is to bring your ex back, okay? Um, desperately in love with you. You're going to need a white, plain piece of paper. You're going to need a fresh bay leaf. If you don't have a fresh bay leaf, then you can use a dry bay leaf. But make sure it is pretty and nice and it has the, you know, but make sure it's not broken, it's not ugly, just a pretty one, okay? You're going to need one bay leaves. You're going to need a jar. You're going to need cinnamon. You are going to need coffee, okay? You're going to need white sugar, all right? And a red tea light candle, all right? Red pen or red marker. And, of course, where is my matches right here? matches okay the first thing we want to do is we want to turn on the red candle and we're not going to keep this red candle on we just do we just leaving it on as we do in our spell okay just to give it power and energy all right okay the first thing we're going to do is we are going to add in your jar a little bit of coffee okay just a little bit just so i can get the aroma in there and you're going to shake it up, shake it up, shake it up, okay? Shake it up just to get that, those energy, the aroma of the coffee in there. And we're going to set this down like so, okay, next to the red candle. Don't mind the white candle. I always have a white candle on. Okay, so next to the red candle, all right? Now, let's put it like this because, you know, I have this, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna set that to the side. All right, and set it to the side. And we're gonna work on the petition paper. Now the petition paper, like I always teach you guys, cut the edges, okay? Cut the edges of your petition paper. And you are going to write the person's name that you want to come back to you, your ex to come back to you desperately in love okay so we're gonna write their full name and their date of birth so i'm gonna start off with john so born let's say december uh 17 1998 let's just say and we're gonna do it again we're gonna write their name three times okay All right, there we go. There we go. There we go. Three times their name, okay? On top of their name, if you, you're going to add, hold on. You're going to add some coffee, okay? Now, the coffee, if you are right-handed, you're going to use your right, index finger if you are lefty you're going to use your left index finger okay and you're going to do this okay you're going to speak your intentions john Doe. you will return to me you will think about me you will come back desperately in love with me you will think of me 24 7 my name is in your mind 24 7. you know you love me you know you cannot live without me and you're going to keep speaking your intentions you're going to stay doing this okay for at least set your clock for at least or your watch or whatever for five minutes okay speaking your intention and repeating it you're going to think of me you're going to come back to me desperately in love with me Okay, you're going to keep doing that for five minutes. Okay, set your timer five minutes. After you do that, you are going to take your sugar. 
You're gonna place it there too. And you're gonna be doing the same thing. Going around it, saying that John Doe, when you return to me, you're gonna to return to me sweeter. You're gonna be more lovable. You're gonna stop being so angry. You're gonna forget about the argument that we had. We're gonna rekindle our relationship together. We're gonna to blossom. You're gonna miss me. You're gonna change your ways. Everything's gonna be good between our relationship. You're gonna fall deeply in love with me. You're gonna be so sweeter than sweet. Or whatever it is, okay, whatever is your intentions. Five minutes as well. Set your timer, five minutes, speaking your intentions, okay? After you do that, you are going to add now, did I mention cinnamon, guys? You're gonna need cinnamon as well. Sorry if I didn't mention it. I don't remember if I mentioned it or not, but you're gonna need cinnamon powder. And you're going to now place the cinnamon, not that much, in the middle, okay? Just in the middle. You're not gonna do none of that. You're just gonna simply set it in the middle of your petition paper, just like so. You're going to take now your bay leaf and you're gonna write the word love, capitalized. Every, every letter has to be capitalized, okay? So we're gonna write love. Capital lies, love, okay? Love, all right? After you do that, you are going to simply place your bay leaves in the middle of where the cinnamon is placed in the middle. You're gonna place it right there in the middle. And you're gonna fold this towards you, okay? You're gonna fold it towards you. And the bay gonna break, that's okay, that's what we want. You're gonna fold it towards you. Turn it to your right, what a mess. Fold this towards you. Keep turning it to your right. Fold it towards you. And you're gonna have a little packet, okay? It's okay if some of it comes off. Hold on, guys. It's okay, I should've used the plate. It's okay if some of it comes off, that's fine. You're gonna have a little packet like this. There's gonna be an opening right here, okay? And you're going to simply now Place this in your jar like so, okay? And the rest of the coffee, you're going to put it inside your jar. Like so. If you can cover it up with the coffee, even better. I'm just showing an example for you guys. If You, you need to cover the paper, okay? Cover it up. After you do that, you are going to simply take your jar and you're gonna close it up tightly, okay? Now, this is the moment where you're going to visualize this person coming back to you. You're gonna think about this person returning back desperately in love with you. You're gonna take a moment, five minutes again of your time to do this, okay? Putting all your intention, close your eyes, visualize, picture this person, everything you want this person to say when they come back, how your relationship is gonna be when this person comes back, and you're gonna visualize, you're gonna picture it in your mind. After you do that for five minutes, okay? You're gonna sniff off, turn off your candle, do not blow it, never blow, okay? And you're going to take this and you're going to put this. Where are you going to put this? You can put this under your bed. You can put it inside your drawer. You can hide it in your closet. You can put it inside a 
a cabinet or down a cabinet or in any way you want, but no one can see this, okay? No one can touch it and no one can see this. And you're gonna just leave this there until that person comes back desperately in love with you, okay? When this person comes back, you see all the changes. Once that happens and you see it manifests like that, that the person came back, totally different person than you, <laughs> than when you first met the person, okay? Then you're gonna take your jar and you're going to bury it. This needs to be buried, okay? Where do you bury it? In a nice blossom tree. I know it's winter because people keep leaving me emails, which I don't understand why you keep doing it. But don't leave me emails, please. I know it's winter outside. There's no leaves in the trees. It doesn't matter. The prettiest tree that you know in the spring or in the summer, she is blossoming. That's where you're going to bury it. She's going to continue. She's going to grow again. We're in the winter. That's fine. But it needs to be buried next to a trunk of a tree. And if you can find the prettiest tree, boom, you can do this spell. Okay? Bury it there. I love it. If you can find a pretty, pretty tree. If you can, and you know what? It is what it is. Just in, bury it in the trunk of the tree. But I love to bury my jars in a nice, green, healthy, beautiful tree. That's where I, I bury my love spouse for my clients, okay? So, once this person comes back desperately, you bury your jar, okay? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please hit that like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Those of you who are interested in any of my spells, you can reach me at magicalwitch777 at gmail.com. Um, this is my Instagram, Julie Magical Witch 777, TikTok, Julie Magical Witch 777, YouTube, you guys already know, Magical Witch. So anyways, um, those of you who are interested, again, in any of my spells, bracelets, oils, jar spells, um, herbs, you can reach me at magicalwitch777 at gmail.com. That is magicalwitch777 at gmail.com. Blessed be everybody. I love you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.